Oh, there are greetings. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I was going to do another video for tonight and for tomorrow, but maybe I'll try that tomorrow. I'll try it tomorrow night. I don't have enough energy. So I'm trying to catch up with questions. I forget what day I'm on right now. I think I'm on still Friday or Saturday, but I have not caught up to last week's Saturday. So tomorrow, I caught up slightly today, but not by much. But uh, tomorrow, I should be able to go through quite a few. Uh, we have a new system up now. Hopefully, it's not too confusing. I tried to connect with um, uh, Squarespace. Of course, they don't. They don't. They're not answering. Usually, they don't. Have, they have a live chat now, but it's not open on the weekends. So now I have to send an email for help and usually get back to you in like an hour or two. Not anymore. Now it's like more than 20, well, 12 hours. It takes forever to get back to you on email. It used to be, it used to be a couple of hours. If it was, if you sent it at night, you'd usually get something in, in the middle of the night, you know, maybe five hours or something, but not anymore. So. So there is some confusion on the site still, but for the most part, it should be all right. It's pretty functioning in the long run. So if it's confusing for me, it's going to be confusing to new people. But this, you know, well, we'll go into it real quick. Uh, for those that are new to this, it's ivanteller.com. And we'll go into this portion. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, yeah, private sessions. This is the calendar. Of course, I haven't put that. I've kind of taken a break from the site today. Uh, but also, this is a quick uh, a quick cart. Uh, but this is the calendar to know uh, what my schedule is. And uh, Google has uh, Zoom and Skype channeling by phone. I have them all different now. This is the phone number I call by. Now, I might change it. Uh, we'll just leave it the way it is. It's fine. And... We have, I don't know if this link works, okay. And uh, for the shop, I added a shop account where you can, now these two links are pretty much the same. Sign in, shop account, this should be about the same, yeah, because then you create an account here. It sends you to the front, I don't know why it does that, but, oh well. <laughs> but this, yeah, these two links are pretty much the same. This one, actually this one does the same thing, that's what I'm trying to get fixed. <clears throat> but this isn't that's where the issue is uh, but uh, the idea is to have one link I don't think I can fix it to go you know it's going to send you to the the front there's not much I can do about that because most stores are going to have their store on the front first page but I don't have that so I'm not sure if I can fix that or not but this this is you know once you get in it's not a big deal uh, but I'm gonna see if I can do any tweaking on it on Monday, <laughs> or maybe probably on Monday. Let's see, open up the chat. Uh, but these are the questions, and it should be pretty easy to go through the system and do add to cart and answer, put in your question situation, and then you get the cart so you can go back to the shop. And if you want to get other items, I just add to the cart here, and then you go into checkout. And the reason I'm going through this is because it's new. And this is where you can sign in if you already have an account and you can go through the payment system pretty quickly. So that's the idea behind that. Uh, we also have uh, the Jake comic. I think this link works. Issue three will be coming out shortly. Uh, and uh, we have uh, Oracle cards also. I believe the links are working properly here. I haven't got everything crossed over, but uh, for the most part, this is a link to the new store, and here's a link to the old store. Uh, I also have T-shirts, and I have an iPhone and uh, Android app also. I was going to do like a social network thing on it, but they got, yeah, it's too, it's too pricey, but eventually I will, but there's not a big call for it, but eventually oh, the, the, the web app will have the chat portion on it. At least I got enough, I only got enough I'm taking care of as it is, I don't need any more. 
uh, spirit social and one question uh, submit a question healing past life regression message from Yeshua channeling consultant five minute healing spiritual connections one question from day shocker healing for the day um, Reiki for Miguel uh, healing for Nick and uh, questions from Yo and here's her uh, services here and uh, there's other private sessions connections you can make and I leave these here for educational purposes for those that are new to all of this this is just an Amazon links so I haven't gotten to the point I don't have enough time to get into the, the stone business but uh, it's just here for you know all of this is links to Amazon but by the way I also have a social network I think this goes to the front page nope oh cool we got another drawing here awesome thank you for using the social network oops I guess I can add as a framp. I know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. So, um, yeah, definitely. Uh, this is a 5D spirit crew. I haven't added, well, it's in the link down in the description of the video. I'll do more promotions with this when I get my act together. Uh, so, uh, I'm still getting everything, uh, splicing everything. Ooh, neat. Compared to everyday cool cooking, neat. So I definitely recommend going into uh, Oh, that's neat, yeah. When you are born in a world you don't fit in, it's because you were born to help and create a new one. <laughs> that's awesome. That's very true. <laughs> that's really cool. So yeah, this is one thing about Having this network, yeah, it doesn't have the web, the sophistication as the other uh, other sites. Uh, but uh, the idea is, because I don't go to Facebook. I mean, I should do more of that. But the idea is to, you know, there's so much on Facebook. You know, this is, you can find stuff on here pretty quickly. Let's put it that way. In this room. Because probably people miss stuff and things of that sort. So it's CI, CI mind control and uh, other works. But one thing that I was going to go into the subject today, I just do a constant channeling. I'm going to give myself a break from uh, channeling, channeling. Um, this is a documentary I found. Interesting, I was thinking about this, and then I found it. I'm going to turn off my audio. Uh, but what this is, is, uh, oh, okay, that's interesting. I didn't know we can do that. <laughs> the things you learn. Uh, is this the right one? Yeah, what this is, I was going to talk about this. But then I, then I found this before I did the video. This is in South Africa. These are prisons. They're called people's homes. Now, in South Africa... Um, now they, they all have, I don't know if they, well, if they can afford it, they actually have gate gates on their, uh, you know, like she has like a little prison door here, you know, this is for your house because apparently there's not enough cops in South Africa. So yeah. So you're like, you're putting yourself in your prison. <laughs> so, um, so you can find the link here. Uh, the name of the video is South Africa's South Africans Live in Danger Gated World. You know, it's, it's funny though, because <clears throat> I was going to do a video about this, how society, we can download what's here and there. Most of this is going to be pretty obvious to most, but uh, you know, our community is not so great. You know, now we have social media, but as technology came in and the suburbs came in, we became less, we became more prisoners of our own homes. You know, and getting out is not easy. I mean, you push after work, now you got paid for a car. And, you know, you used to live like in a city, in an apartment, everybody's pretty much condensed. And you just walk around, like in Europe, walk around and go to your work or whatever it is. And you still go to the pub or whatever, and there is community. But now things are like, now we have our houses and now it's jail, <laughs> pretty much. And so now, and then the internet got, you know, 
it's been a prison. You know, we put ourselves in a prison. Our health is better, but our lives are worse. You know, depression is higher. Everything that is like insane is is worse. And now pornography is huge, and because we're not connecting anymore. Not like we used to. It's not easy anymore. Now we just go home and watch television, creation of television. And, you know, it's just been radio probably. Radio days are probably better. Uh, you can still, I don't know, say life was easier before. Obviously not. But uh, now it's like now we're on our gated communities. We're in our little prisons that are very nice looking in some regard. Uh, but now it's hard to communicate, connect with people. And so. We're all going crazy. So, uh, well, not every vibe, but a good portion. <clears throat> and so this is why girls break up with their boyfriends and then their boyfriends become psychos because they know they can't find anybody else because society sucks, depending on who it is. <laughs> and so you got now you got yourself a stalker. I mean, obviously these things have happened in the past, but now it's becoming more normal because it's hard to connect to people nowadays. I mean, Europe might be a different story. <clears throat> in the States, it sucks. <clears throat> and, of course, in South Africa, it might be easy to connect with people, but who knows what you're doing. You know, I imagine also, uh, um, well, there's other places, I mean, Africa in general, uh, they probably can't afford uh, uh, security systems, and uh, Mexico can't exactly be the... And there's islands in the Caribbean that are pretty much unsafe, so... Have a little bit of combination of everything. So, uh, so where we're heading now is uh, releasing the prison, acknowledging the prison, and uh, going through a healing phase. <clears throat> uh, as for, I'm beginning downloads here and there. I had a weird dream. Yeah, I had a dream that I think it was the bathroom or somewhere. It was all. Stuff was everywhere, and you went back, and everything was back in its place. It's like spooky. <laughs> it's like so. Um, I haven't quite connected that. It might be an archon dream. Uh, I don't think it wasn't a nightmare. It was weird. It was eerie. I give it that. So, uh, yeah, this video might be. <laughs> I'm gonna call it short tonight. Uh, but you know, as for the prison world, as for us connecting more with our alien friends, it become more of a, you just gotta get used to this new environment. Like like animals on this world, if, you know, because we grow up with them, we're used to them. We're told it's okay. We're used to that. They're all a bunch of weird looking things. I mean, you got a crocodile, not to say a crocodile, a crocodile in our room, but you know, cats are strange looking, dogs are strange looking, but you're growing up and your parents say, it's okay, it's okay. Same thing with the aliens, because we're not used to having aliens around. You can say it's going to be the kind of, I mean, we have to get used to that vibration that they're eventually going to be our neighbors. They already are. You just don't see them. So we just get used to, uh, like, elephant people and giraffe people. I always think of the giraffe people. <laughs> I guess because it's just so unusual. Um, I'm not, yeah, they do exist, and that's something I connect to often, but all the animals here have an alien connection and are helping us find ourselves. And we're going to an era of this is going to be the norm. We're called crazy right now, but realize that, you know, look at the animals here. They're all weird looking and you're okay with that, right? <laughs> but what about there's a humanoid alien walking around like a canine or a cat person? People are going to freak out, but that's going to, that's what white workers are here for is to, allow that to come in it's like it's okay to connect with me it's okay to connect because that's the thing that's where we're going it's just wow they're alien but also they're family friends you know the alien people there's nothing to be afraid of that's the thing about those that do under kind of understand this a little bit they're terrified because probably because they did have a negative experience archons or whatever it might be but the idea is to put your minds like, don't worry about any of that. Just, uh, we'll, you'll find the truth. You'll find what's right for you. So I think we're, we're getting slowly closer to it, obviously, little by little. As for seeing them, you never know. Who knows? I mean, who knows? 
exactly to give us a nerd yes a message about was it in, uh, in march um like we get an influx of high vibrations um i also got a message on that slight if that's if i mean who knows um that some people be crossing over also you might have like people are just ready to go too some of them Oh, that's where I was going to talk about the other side. That was my main subject for today. Yeah, I'll go into that also. It's my perspective of it. And you, can take it. you can take it with a grain of salt. Um, everyone's going to have their own per, uh, perspective of it. Uh, but uh, where is it going with all that? Well, I'll we'll, we'll jump into the other side stuff. I kind of lost my concentration on the other. But. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Apparently that seems to be a, my main subject. So I just, sorry about, I just lost train of thought. I'm tired too. So I'll just go with the other side stuff. And that might be kind of a juicy topic for some. <laughs> uh, as I said that, uh, yeah, cause I'm going to go into, obviously I don't have all the answers and not everybody's perfect. Uh, everybody has their own point of view. And my point of view is, and no, I don't think I'm alone on this, but it's not something I connect to often or recently, probably because I'm going through a change as we are. But like the other side is not as perfect as you might think. Now, this might help people also. It might make people feel like, oh, it's perfect over there. Well, I'm not sure about that. I mean, living there might be perfect. I mean, you get whatever you want. You think about it, you're there, you know you're 15 or whatever you are, but the, the person can still have issues. Uh, you're still gonna make mistakes and you can still have issues with yourself. Cause I've had people say they're guys who come to them and say they're, they're apologizing, they screwed up. Of course we're humanizing a lot of that. That's the thing also, we humanize a lot of stuff, but still, I still feel that it's still got it's got issues over there. I mean, long ago before I even connected with this, now obviously they just with a grain of salt. If this world is the way it is, the other side connected to this world, it's gotta be just messed up. Not exactly, but it's gotta be levels of just makes no sense. <laughs> Not everybody's gonna agree with it, but oh, it's perfect, blah, blah, blah. Well, if it's so perfect, why is this place so messed up? I mean, we cross over and go over there, right? We bring our crap and whatever, and, you know, there's issues there. Now, let me take this another step. Now, this is not really, you know, of course, it's my perspective. Others have, there are different other sides. There are Zeta, the Reptilians. There are different other sides. And there's also different levels of the other side also. Of, like, you have probably your chaotic place. There's got to be there. It's got to be. And also you have your peaceful areas. Some call it astral, some call it spirit, call it whatever you want. It's called the astral is connected to this reality. I call it spirit and astral, but I, I kind of separate them to a certain degree. You know, astral, some prefer to call it astral. I call it spirit and I call it astral something else. You can connect with what you want, but because spirit, I feel, the way I look at spirit is that was the level, there's different places of just peace. I believe a lot of people are connected to that. It's not to say the other side is completely like a chaotic nightmare. I don't think so. But there are areas where it is not exactly, it's tough. <clears throat> That's what I'm getting. Of course, I'm, you know, like I said, I can't keep saying it. This is my perspective. Um, the reason being, now, maybe I'm humanizing this. Why is it are people having trouble connecting to your guides? You want to connect to your guides and you hear nothing. What is that? <laughs> it shouldn't be happening like that. And I've heard from other professionals, okay, one, <laughs> but I take, I believe them, is your guides can get lazy, they can get spoiled, and this is on the other side. And this is from somebody else. And I believe it. So 
Not to say, like I say, not to say it's wasteland. Now some people might say that. I don't think it is, but they're why are your guys not talking to you? I've had rogue guides. It's like this is ridiculous. What what is this? Obviously it's a test. But still, should this many people have this trouble connecting to their guides? You should not have this much trouble. So that shows you how the other side is not functioning correctly. That's my perspective. Not to say it's all bad, but there are parts of it that don't make any sense. If you want, you understand you have guides, you understand it's of light, what's the problem? Is it you? I don't think so. I think a lot of it's them. It, it, I think some of it's your lesson, but still, you want to talk to them? I mean, I don't talk to mine very much. Obviously, I did a, a house clearing, <laughs> cleaning, but uh, uh, sometimes you don't, you know, you know what I mean? I mean, it's just, they should be talking to you. And you're willing to talk to them, you hear nothing. Something's not right. So this is why I mean about the other side is kind of not right. And not, it's not acting right. And I guess on my driving, sometimes I get kind of, usually I'm at peace with them, but sometimes I'm like, you guys need to get straight over there. <laughs> I don't know if I go over there and start kicking ass or what. In some ways I think I am. <laughs> Because I'm just the ones that are paying the ass, not the good ones, obviously. But the ones that are not so, they're not what they're claiming to be or whatever it might be. Why, well, guy? I mean, it's not, uh, I guess I'll eventually get a download of what's going on. I'm not getting anything now because everyone's probably going to piss at me for saying this, but I don't really care. I think they'll be all right. I don't think that's the case. But, um, but no, that's not right. You, know, you should have your guides be able to talk to you, at least one. Now, a lot of them, they have like a communicator. You know, they talk to one. That's fine. Because uh, you don't want to have like 30 voices coming through. Or You can always use tarot to talk to them also. Um, if you're not hearing, now some people aren't ready to hear them or haven't got to that level of hearing. But there are other ways of cards and things of that sort. Your energy is connected to everything. So, so cards are one way. But if you have... If you have, you know you can connect, you know, you're in other beings, you should be able to hear your guides through your connections. Because some aren't really there yet, but eventually they will be. But, you know, if your guides aren't saying anything, like I've been told, fire them. <laughs> of course, that might be, yeah, just go to meditation. It's like, you better talk to me or you're gone. It's that simple. They <laughs> say, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right, I'll start, all right. Some people don't want to hear that, but it's, it's true. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there. I really don't. I mean, I think on a, a, like in a higher fourth density, it's different. But I don't know what's going on over there. It's like it's, I don't know if they're having a cross-dressing. Like it's like they're just doing that constantly. And I don't know. I mean, is it party town over there all the time? And they just don't know. Is it that chaotic over there? In some areas, yes. Like I said, like connecting to the dark side, like you have heaven and you have more astral. That is not pleasant. I believe there is like a connection there. And some areas, I think, where more astral beings, they can get over to the other side, but then they kind of disappear, depending on what level of energy they get to. Either they dissolve or they go back into lower astral. So, Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, as for guys not talking to you, it shouldn't be like that. <laughs> but as I said, this is a war planet. So, you're going to have a war. And on the other side, there is a war going on. Yes, I think so. Like I said, there's different levels. There's levels where it's all peace. And there's levels that are stuff's got happening. So, especially around the angels. So, I don't think it's all peaceful there. There are, I believe there are rogue beings there, like my guide, for that matter. Ulysses is now history. He got his ass fired like that. Like, what took so long for him to get kicked out? So I think I did a, a sweep at Queer because I think some of, my guy, some of my guys are getting kind of just either bored or just useless. So um, I don't connect to all of them, but. Either way, when I got, they're still there. They're just kind of 
I think they are I think they are slowly getting dissolved out. New ones are coming in here and there. But what matters most is us, um, you know, querying. Like I said, I think the other side is going to go through a query as we go through a query. Like the war on the other side will clear too. So I believe that it does exist. Not to say, now that's another thing. It's like, what's going on with this whole thing of when you cross over, well, it's time for you to go, and you might go into a rogue energy. What is that crap? It's like, you shouldn't have that. You should be able to cross over peacefully and not have to worry about stuff like that. I mean, it's just, what kind of planet is this? And also the other side gets kind of manipulated too, at least in that regard. In some areas, most, I don't, I don't believe this is a, a, something that happens a lot, but it does happen. It's for mostly for lost souls that are already kind of, like those are on a drinking binge, drug binge. Some cross over, some don't. <laughs> place in the right place. Those are most likely the ones that get lost. I think for the most part, most people, if you know where you're going to be at, you'll be fine. And then there are others that are just trickster energies. It's like, you know, between this world, and it's a part of the test. It's like, it's ridiculous. I, like I said, I believe the most part, it's fine. But it's like, as we go through a healing, that will be healed also. It's going to take time. Because a lot of people don't believe in spirit. They don't believe in any of that. So that's what you that's another reason why they easily get trapped. And but I think as for most part, most souls are fine. And and some of it also has to do with the soul going through a test of its own. It's like, I want to try things out, see what I do. More power to you. It's like this place isn't enough. Well, and I believe uh, not everybody here, but a good sum. I've gone through that, obviously. Well, it's probably a bigger number of stuff, but uh, they go through that situation where they get kind of lost to experience it. Obviously, there's a way out. You know, if you're going to a false light, you're a bunch of reptilian worlds, it's like, great. <clears throat> now I got to deal with this. You know, stuff like that. Or you get sent back here, which is highly unlikely also. But I think also that's part of one's, I mean, especially if you're a new soul here and you want to experience everything, well, that's one way to experience it. <laughs> so there's that. There's all different ways of experiencing. So I believe for the most part, not to worry, but yeah, it's, it's, it is a question. It's like, why is this so difficult? Why is it so difficult to get the true answer, you know, from your guides is because there's a lot of rogue energies here. Uh, disconnecting as much as possible and it's just oh okay, yeah even beings on the other side are calling people negative calling you and me negative these are beings on the other side it's like geez it's like even over there they get screwed up i think even souls on the other side get kind of they get kind of screwed up it's very gossipy over there i know it shouldn't be but it is and even they can't make a right decision if their life depended on it <laughs> It just, it's one thing after the other. So, I think there's more guys that don't know what the hell they're doing than there are ones that do know what they're doing. And some of them are freaking tired of being a guide, too, because it's like, it's hard work. So, it's like, um, it's like being a parent in some regard. Yeah, you can say, it. it's like being a guide is kind of like being a parent and you're trying to get your kid to go in the right direction. It's kind of like being a parent. A little more sophisticated you know what's going on though as a guide you see everything and you see the person that you're guiding going the wrong direction and a lot of times it's more interesting but it's still very hard and they do feel the emotions we go through and all this stuff because they experience it with us so they go through all the crap so you know they can get hit with stuff too so when we get attacked they get attacked but they can't they gotta let us figure it out because that's our mission so you know it's it's different for everybody it's very complicated uh but um I don't know if I have any solutions at all. It's just, uh, I believe it's just your intentions of understanding um, the other side better, putting an intention out. I was going to say something about the prison, uh, how we're all living in a prison. And in that video I found right before I went live, it's like, that's interesting. That's really a prison. That's pretty obvious, but these are prisons basically. 
So we have a lot to we have a lot to uh, decode or clear out. So we're called we're called crazy, connect to aliens. Uh, but when you look at humanity, who's the crazy one in the long run? Who's the one that's freaking insane? Look at Washington shutting down and doing whatever it is. The ones that one fix all the corruption going on there. It's just who's the crazy one again? <laughs> It's like they don't know what they're talking about. I mean, when you hear when aliens say humans don't know any better, they don't know any, they don't know any better. <laughs> it's just it's like a kid mentality in some regard. It's like an adult. It's just it's you know it's pers- it's personal responsible spiritual responsibility or spiritual maturity. And it's like you want to play with the big dogs. It's to heal. No, like uh, like Alex Jones and that crew that's paranoid all the time, angry all the time. It's not how you heal. I mean, yeah, you're going to have your angry moments. Obviously, you're human. You get frustrated here. Uh, but I don't go on here and do that. Uh, that's not how you heal. Uh, obviously, we're all human. You're going to have your moments. But when you make your career doing that, and the paranoia does not help you heal. Uh, because I believe you can connect to the those that are running the show, the Illuminati, in a peaceful way. Not to say you have to connect the dark ones, connect the white ones. You have to connect the dark ones, obviously. But you can connect the white ones. I mean, you probably might see the dark ones, but you can see. I mean, it shows that you're ready. You're not, you're not scared of anything. I mean, it's weird, but, you know, you know, that's where we're heading. I mean, if you want to take back this world, we got to show it. <laughs> We're not showing it very well. <laughs> it takes time. I mean, it's it's weird. It's a new way of thinking. New, well, sort of. It's not new, new, but it's becoming part of our society more. Let's put it that way. It's part. It's a new culture. It's a new world. A hundred years from now, this is going to be not understood, but bigger for sure. Probably fifty years from now, it's going to get stronger and stronger. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the other psychics have been around are building up to this point and a lot of them that's been like mediums and all that you know they can't know can they know some might i know my mentor is kind of scared of reptilians and he didn't even connect to that stuff but he saw them so you know they're, they're roaming around it's weird yeah you get yeah when alien subject came down it's like Whoa. <laughs> so but for me it's like yeah bring it in so you never i didn't get that far with that uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely that's because that's the real. It's our community connected to the alien, the real, the alien alien community, and combining both worlds, and not having fear, not having ego. Of course, there'll be some ego, and just uh, clean the world up. Definitely, we're definitely yeah. It's just baby steps. I don't have the answers, but you know, I think a lot has to do with government too. The government has to heal. Uh, like, I mean, welfare is good, has its positives. More people might become less likely to want to do a job because they're just tired of being part of the system. Gee, I wonder why. Those are homeless. I mean, you might be homeless, but at least you're not having to get up and go to work every day and lose your mind. So it does have some positives. Uh, sleeping outside in the cold is not fun. And getting robbed and things of that sort is not good. But well, at least you don't have to go to a day job. But... Yeah, it's just, um, you know, we are heading into a better world for sure. I do definitely 100 years for sure. We're definitely, I mean, between, I mean, who knows? It's hard to predict exactly what, you know, if it's new, like, and was it March? March 20th, we'll have this. I mean, to have an exact date, who knows? But uh, I believe in a better future for sure. So, all right, I'll give that just, you know, this, uh, hopefully this is helpful. I need to get some rest. Well, it's almost by the time this is uploaded, this will be tomorrow. So, all right, take care. Much love, everyone.